Hello, Tennians, and welcome back to Hyperspeed. It's sure where I try to speed in my videos. Games. Damn it. Fucked up the intro again. It's fine. Whatever. We're going. I don't think I took a sip after that last death in the last battle, so I'm going to start with a new one. There we go. Alright, and we're going to hit retry. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go, here we go, satellite radio. I gotta qu quote this at least once. So, welcome to Matchstix. Um, if you're just joining us, uh, we're fighting my favorite boss in the game, Matchstix the Dragon. Because he's really adorable, and really funny, and visually consistent, and I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just find him to be the most interesting boss. I love the background. I love the panels. I love the uh, attacks he does. I love how they're all consistent with his theme. I love how I'm being a fucking moron right now. This is a really bad start I'm off to. Yep. Alright. Um, I swear I'm going to stop being terrible at this game eventually. Um, so last time... Uh, we started fighting matchsticks and discovered that my strat is probably the worst possible strat for the third phase, which is why I have so much trouble with the third phase. Um, the tracer shots, which I've been using exclusively in this fight, except for I was using the shotgun up close during the first phase, just to speed it up. Um, the tracer shots, which I've been using almost exclusively, are like the worst shots for the third phase, because they deal very small damage, so the phase lasts a really long time, which sucks, because it's really hard, <laughs> um, and uh, they also, because they track to the fireballs that he shoots, which explode if you hit them, um, I was only making it really, I was only making it harder for myself to dodge. So, we actually, unbelievably, um, switched out of the uh, loadout I was using, and now we are back to using, um, specifically, um, the tracers for this phase because this phase is really hard with the regular shot and then the regular shot for the first and last phases the first phase just because it does more damage and honestly the first phase is easy but if we can get through it quicker then we get to the good part quicker um i don't know what i'm using oh i'm using tracer shots okay good here we go oh he's gonna do the fireball i'll just I, honestly i'll just wait this one out i don't need to deal damage during that part I think if I can, if I can keep things calm and organized, the whole fight should go really easy. Oh, whoa, that was a close one. Oh boy. Alright, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there for sure. Fireball. 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 Yeah, okay, this is how you do it. And now let's see if we can finish him off. That didn't finish him off. Oh well. <laughs> oh boy, he's going to the fire, fire flamethrower, whatever you call it. The thing where fire comes out of his mouth. And his mouth turns into a flamethrower. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Alright, that wasn't too hard. All we had to do was switch up our strat a bit. Not too bad. I'm gonna take a sip because I can feel the energy running down and... I beat that boss a lot easier than I thought I would. I really thought I'd be stuck on that one for like, hours. The first time I played through this game, I actually did get stuck on that boss for hours. Um, I'm a lot better at the game now than I was then. But it was still, like, you know. Yeah. Um, Alright, so I want to I wanna switch my shots back, because I want to go back to using my same strap. Um, and honestly, I could get the second super from this island, but the first super is just the best one. You know, like, I'm, you know, does a lot of damage, gives you invincibility frames, and it's, uh, doesn't have a, doesn't come with a high risk. So, hey, I'll take it. Alright. Inkwell Isle 3. Hey, King Dice, what's going on? Mr. King Dice. Looks like I might have un underestimated you, Cupface. You gave it to them, debtors, but good. Go on over to the next island. Lots of fun times waiting for you there. Ha ha ha! Sloop. This is the ground just sucks him up. 
The little mugs have some fight in them. I'll say that much. They're making mincemeat out of them debtors. You see, I knew there was something special about those fellas. Well, don't be too sure just yet, boss. I think there's something fishy about those two. Don't blow your wig, Dice. If those two little things try anything, I'll be waiting. I don't remember what voices I gave them in the first uh, session, so fuck it, that's what their voices are now. King Dice is annoying nasally announcer, and uh, the devil is slightly scarier guy, who is very close to the voice of the villain from uh, Night in the Woods. <laughs> oh well. It's a good villain voice, I'm sorry. Honeycomb Herald. Oh, I remember this one. I actually forgot this boss existed until I uh, was watching that thing last night and saw it. I don't remember how to beat it, though. I don't remember the strat, so I guess we're going to find out. I'm going to find out real quick. Uh, I know that there's a police guy here who's going to come in real quick. Um, okay. That seems to be pretty easy, just as long as I stay away from it, you know, keep some distance. I think I can play the long game on this one, because it should be pretty easy to dodge. Um, yeah, I'm going to play the long game on the first phase. That seems to be working. Alright. Tops down. Who's next? Aha, the queen. I don't know what she's going to do, but, uh... Oh boy. Oh boy, it's coming towards me. I don't know where to go from here. I got cornered. Shit. This isn't going well. Not a good first run. <laughs> okay. Oh, apparently this one isn't very long. Apparently this one doesn't have a lot of health, because I was using the tracer shots the whole time, and... It was, I was like halfway through already. Alright, that's not too bad. Um, this one looks like it's short, but it's got a lot going on, and I think that's where the difficulty comes in. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let the tracer shots do the work for me, and try to just stay alive. That was a mistake right there, that thing that I did, but hey, whatever. Oh, I get it, because they're worker bees, so they have briefcases. Oh, Shady, she's coming down the middle. Of course she is, where all of the fucking things are spawned. What is this? What is she doing? Oh, damn. Damn it. I couldn't, I couldn't deal with that, because, uh, there was... The panels are randomly generated. Which I know I was just praising in matchsticks. But in this one, it's really frustrating, because... Um, there's a lot more to dodge. So the randomly generated panels can really screw you when they're not always there. Damn it! That's a bad start. We're off to a bad start again. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, satellite radio. Aha! That was a risk. It was a calculated risk and I took it. I don't want to be near this thing. Damn it! I'm already down to one health. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. I say as I immediately jump right into the honey. I'm drowning in your sticky goodness. Hey sugar, this honey's off limits. Now scram. Yeah, no. Uh, I don't want your honey anyway. Honey. Oi, oi, oi! Why does this bee have an Australian accent, huh? Oh, uh, I actually recently discovered this game is made in Australia, so maybe that's why. <laughs> um, the, uh, Steam was having a sale of games made in Australia. God, I'm doing terrible! Oh, Steam was having a sale of games made in Australia, so, um, I was looking at what they were, and I was like, Oh, wow, I didn't know that was made in Australia. Oh, wow, I didn't know that was made in Australia. So, like, every game, <laughs> you know? Like, every game surprised me. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I I don't know why I'm having so much difficulty with this one. Like, I know the strat. I know I know how to do it, and yet I just keep getting fucked. I don't know what it is. I guess there's just a lot of shit to dodge, you know? But it's gotta there's too many things to focus on. I just gotta stay far away from the bomb and him, the cop. Um, and then just focus on shooting the bees 
so that they don't come on the screen too much. Let's see what she's gonna spawn. I don't think she usually spawns things right in front of her. I say as she literally spawns something right in front of her. As I say that. I know those uh, triangle shots can be parried, but I really don't want to risk, risk it, you know? So I'm just not. I'm gonna go with the bullets this time. Oh, god damn it. I really hate these bullets. Damn it, I, I, should, I should be using the, the smoke dodge on these. I think that would probably be the best strat. Let's see where she's gonna spawn. She's coming down the middle. I don't know what she's doing here. I don't remember this one. Shit, it's a plane? What do I do about this? I guess I used razor shots. God damn, okay! I didn't know that was coming. Dominate and vomit. That's how I be. It was a sassy bee. I don't know what it is. Are all bees sassy? Is that just a thing? Is every single bee sassy? Like, every single bee queen is always sassy in everything. Like, you look at, like, Barry B. Benson from the titular B movie. I don't know why I said titular. That doesn't make any sense. It's not the context in which that word gets used. But anyway, you get my point. He's sassy as shit. But that's probably just because he's Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> um, you know, why are bees always so sassy? Someone got a thing for bees? Is that what's going on here? Sassy bee fetish? I don't know. My mind is rambling into dark places because, uh, I... Hey, when I have a lot of energy and I'm, and I'm forcing myself to talk constantly while doing something that requires, like, 90% of my focus, I'm sorry, but this is the kind of weird shit that's gonna, that I'm gonna end up saying. Okay, yeah, so, I tried a new strat there where I was staying on the chain because I don't think the chain deals damage and see if I could just stay there because there's nothing goes there. But, unfortunately, um, the spacing between her head and body is not large enough for me to stay there and jump on the panels. So, oh well. I don't think this one should be too much trouble. I think I'm just, I just gotta get in the rhythm of it. Um, this first phase I think I've got down pretty good now. Not perfectly, but pretty good. Um, I've noticed he always throws the things at the same height. Damn it, there wasn't a panel where I needed there to be a panel. Sometimes there's just entire sections that don't get panels. I really fucking hate it. Uh, Alright, I guess I'm gonna continue trying. Even though I'm totally losing. But I'm going to lose. Like, I'm just, I'm just accepting that right now. Step one, accepting your death. Step two, actually dying. It's the only thing that's guaranteed in life. Death and taxes, although I'm pretty sure when, I think it was Benjamin Franklin, when Benjamin Franklin said that, I'm pretty sure the taxes part was a joke. Um, I mean, it's serious, but also, like, technically, it's not guaranteed, per se, but, like, yeah, that's probably always gonna be there. And they're kind of a necessity for countries to run. The, the little bit of honey at the bottom of the screen gives me constant anxiety. Because I always feel like, um, it's going to swallow me up. God damn it, why is there no platforms where I need to do- There's never any platforms where I need there to be platforms. That's what fucks me every time. It's just, I just get really fucking unlucky. I don't know what that, I don't know what the deal with that is. I can parry that. I don't know why I dodged into her. That was really dumb. Hey, sugar. This honey is off limits. Now, scram. Yeah, yeah, you stupid bee. Alright. Yeah, so. This first phase is pretty good. I honestly can beat it pretty reliably. Um, and even, even do it without taking damage while talking. So that's not too bad. I say is I immediately fucking take damage. Ha! <laughs> that was my frustrated ha. Oh well. I'll keep trying because I think that unlike matchsticks, um, 
I'm not quite as likely to take damage in the last phase, so I don't feel like I have to save my health. Damn it. I timed that a little too late. God damn it. I timed that a little too early. Alright. Ahem. Let's go again. Oh, actually, sorry, that was the end of the episode, so stay interesting.